Good day, everyone. My name is Maria Konjelska, and this is Poland Daily Culture. Our guest for today is Aleksandra Gintrowska, singer, actress, and also a very beautiful woman. Ola, thank you for being with us. Hi, and thank you. I'm really happy to be here. But before we dig up all Ola's artistic secrets, let's listen to one of her songs. England is kind of a factory for, for great musicians, even, uh, I would say, a melting spot, a melting pot for so many great, art, uh, great artists, which influence the music stage all over the world. What, is, what has England, a small island, that, uh, that makes it so special, that, that they are able to produce such a variety of different styles and different people, which, you know, from Queen to Elton John until Amy Winehouse and l lots of other new things. How Beatles. does it work? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Well, I think the first of all, first and probably the most important thing is that English is their native language. And most of the, like, top list songs are in English. And very often we are trying like, not even in Poland, but in Europe overall, where English is not the first language, we try to do songs in English and very often they're just popular in our countries. Whereas for them, English is, you know, natural to speak. So it's easier for them to write a good lyric, which is very important. But sometimes I listen to the songs and you listen to the lyric and you, when you, when you think that you want to translate it into Polish, it sounds so strange and it, it wouldn't be a good lyric. It would be sometimes ridiculous, like... That's true, that's true. So that's the first and huge difference. And I would say they just feel it. They have it in, in their blood. <laughs> maybe because I was thinking about it, maybe because of the variety of also new people who go there and influence their culture, after all. That's true. There is a huge variety in people from around the world and they bring, you know, touches of their cultures, what inspires big producers. As we're talking about Europe and the melting pot, you took part in Polish Eurovision. Yes. <laughs> and how did it work out? And don't you think that Eurovision is a little bit overrated for now? But um, Well, I would say Eurovision became kind of a tradition in our country, and not only in our country, but I would say in Europe. Of course, there are people who are against it, and they feel that it's kind of, um, like you said, overrated and, and boring. <laughs> yeah, and exactly. And, and when it comes to voting, a lot of countries are just doing it for, you know, because they're friends, so they're gonna vote, vote for their friend country. Uh, so that's not good. But when it comes to music, it's something that gives people from our country or different country uh, better knowledge. Like, if we have a performer from Poland and this person is gonna perform in Eurovision, um, he or her, they're going to be more popular and some other countries get to know their music. So that's, that's better for artists. And I feel like Eurovision became a huge community and people are really supportive. I, I get to know a lot of Eurovision far, fans uh, in Poland and they're like family. So that was a great experience for me. I still stay in touch with some of them. Wow, and how did it develop you in a way of um, your artistic career? Did it shape you in any way? Did, it was, was it a challenge also? 
Yes, it was because I, I decided to, I would say, show that maybe Polish people weren't really um, ready for it. Um, because I, I was, you know, I was a great fan of uh, Eurovision. I used to watch it like every year since I was little. And what I noticed that very often big shows, like something extravagant, was getting noticed always. So I decided to do something funny. But in the end, uh, it just got a lot of um, criticism. You you became a mermaid, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> Tell us more about it. No, Share it's it, it's a it, it was a good time. Well, uh, I would say it was a good experience for me. I've learned a lot from that, and I decided to just find my music because uh, I was still looking for my um, my type of music, what I was feeling, I was still looking for myself. And since that time, it took took me a lot of time actually, and now I feel like I'm now finding the right music, what I'm feeling, and I have a great producer, and we, we have a common language, and I feel like we understand each other, and we know where we are going and what music we want to do. So I would say that every step before now, it was a great lesson for me and I'm really grateful to those moments. And I'm really happy who I am now. <laughs> Sounds so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> what is then your style of music? Uh, I would say it's really difficult to, you know, just describe in words how your music sounds. But, but I would say it's somewhere between I would say it's mostly alternative pop, but it's a broad, you know, um, description. So I would say that the best would be to listen to the music I'm doing, but I'm still working on it. So um, hopefully, maybe by the end of this year or by the beginning of the next year, my, um, my solo album will come out. We keep the fingers crossed for you. And for you, our audience, for all those who are fans of alternative pop, we recommend you to go online and check, check out Alexandra Gintrovska songs. And thank you for watching Poland Daily Culture.